Well, we bless the Lord this morning. We thank God once again, another day that he has made, and we're rejoicing in it. We're glad in it. We praise God, and we gave thanks, amen, to our Father, our Lord. That's the password. Thank you. Thank you. Giving praise, giving thanks to him. Amen. Once again, we don't dread getting up in the morning. We, we are grateful and thankful. We face each day, each and every day, amen, with praise, with praise, amen, praise on our lips. We bless the Lord. We thank God. We share it with you. Amen. We're going this week. Amen. Letting us, all of us know that it's already done. Everything is already done. And I bless God because we understand, amen, that when Jesus was on that cross and when he said, it is finished, that meant it is done. It was done. Thank you, Lord God. And this is the thing. We agree with heaven. We agree with heaven. In Psalms 119, verse 89, the word of God says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. The word of God is settled in heaven. And I thank God, you know, even when I looked at verse uh, 90, uh, praise God, uh, the last verse in that particular chapter, amen, basically it was saying everything, amen, everything has its limits except your commands, except what God commands. Everything has a limit to it, amen. Whatever you're going through right now, it's a limit to it. <laughs> thank you, Lord God. That's something to shout about. But no and thank you, Lord God. But everything, it, it, it has a limit. It has an expiration date, but still to know that the commands of God, it has no limits. It has no limits. I thank God in Jesus' name. And even when we look at the word promise, promise, amen. And God is a promise keeper. Not only is he a promise keeper, he, he's a God, amen, a, a covenant-keeping God. And I bless God that when we look at the word promise, what it means is a declaration or an assurance that one will do a particular thing. Whatever God has promised through his word, God is going to do whatever he said he's going to do. And this is something that you and I can hold on to because, again, God is a covenant-keeping God. And even when we speak of a covenant-keeping God, a covenant is a physical, a spiritual, legal, binding agreement. God has made a, an agreement with us. There's an agreement that he's made with us, thank you, Lord God, and he keeps, amen, his covenant, he keeps his agreement, his promise, whatever he said he's going to do. And what I love about God is this, that we go to the word of God because it's God's word. It's got the Bible, the Holy Bible, what we have. This is the Word of God. This is His covenant. This is what He's given us. Amen. And that we're able to pick that Word up, go through the Word of God. Amen. And, and understand that no matter what you're going through, whatever it is in your life, you can find something that's going to fit, thank you, Lord God, your situation. And understand that whatever promises He made through His Word, whatever covenant that He has made, God's going to keep that peace, keeping that covenant. Covenant. He does not violate his covenant. He don't violate it. Thank you, Lord God. And not only that, Jeremiah 112. Jeremiah 112. Thank you, Father. The Word of God tells us that God watches over his word to perform. He's watching over his word, his word to perform it. Thank you, Lord God. And I thank God. Just doing a recap right quick. Amen. We share with you, amen, the story out of, of Matthew chapter 16. Amen. It was the King James Version. Let's go there again. Amen. Praise God. And understanding the word of God because we're still saying this morning, amen, we agree. We agree with heaven. Amen. The word of God says, amen, that when Jesus had came to the coast of Caesarea of Philippi, that he asked the disciples, who do men say that he is? And that's still a question that you and I, we're asked that question every single day. When you're going through tests or trials in your life, you're being asked a question. Who are you saying he is in your life right now? Amen. That test, that trial, that thing that, that's, that's bothering you, that thing that you want to go away. Amen. But the question is, is being asked, who is he? Who is, who is he? Who do you say that he is? And even in the word of God, when he asked his disciples and they were telling him, amen, they gave an answer. Some say, thou art John, John the Baptist. We knew who John the Baptist was. He was the one who was preparing the way, amen, for Jesus. And then he said, they go on, they said, well, you know, some say Elias. Some say Jeremiah, one of, the, one of the prophets. And I bless God because even as they continued, he turned around, turned the tables. We said turned the tables because he turned it on them. He said, well, who do you say that I am? 
And that's what we're saying today, that no matter what you might hear other people say, that question, you're going to, that's the question that's, that's always being asked to you. Who do you say that he is? And even in the word of God, the Bible says in, in verse 16 that Simon, amen, Peter, he answered. He said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And when Jesus responded to him, he said, blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood did not, amen, reveal this unto you. But my father, which is in heaven, my father told you this. My father revealed this to you. And he goes on, he says, and unto him, he says, and praise God, amen, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell. Thank you, Lord God. Listen, when you get a revelation, when there's a revelation, something that's been revealed to you, it's in your, when it's in your Noah, we call it in your, your Noah, it's there. Nobody can move it. Nobody can take it. You, you are, you're, it's, you're grounded. It's, it's solid. Nobody can move you from it because you know what you know. And this is the thing, thank you, Lord God, no matter what comes. And this is why, still again, we as a people of God, we can't be moved, amen, by every wind, every doctrine. When things come, praise God, we hear this, we hear that. If you're not moved by all that stuff, we're not moved by the winds that's blowing. We're not moved, thank you, Lord God, by the fire. No, we're not moved by these things because we know what we know. Thank you, Father. And I bless God because still even in the word of God, when he went on, he said, I'm giving to you, I give unto you the keys. The keys of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. And he said, and whatsoever, whatsoever you shall bind. Amen. Praise God. In other words, whatsoever you shall bid, forbid. Whatever you are forbidding, binding me, forbid. You are forbidding on earth, that shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you loose, whatever you allow, thank you, Lord God. Whatever you loose on the earth, he said, I'll loose it in heaven. But I still thank God going back to the word of God in Psalms 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, amen, thy word is settled. It's already settled in heaven. What settled mean means, praise God, is this, to bring to rest. It's already at rest. It's already established. It's already secure. It's permanent already. Thank you, Lord God. So God's promises, this is the thing, God's promises are unchanging. They're unchanging. And you know why it's unchanging? Because God is faithful. Amen. Praise God. God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He has not changed. Amen. It's already settled. It's already established. Thank you, Lord God. But I love feeling the word of God. Amen. This morning in Luke chapter 11. Amen. Verses 1 through 13. And we're going to put this in your hearing. And we're going to pray. But this is the King James as well as the NIV version. Thank you, Lord God. The Word of God says, and it came to pass that as he, talking about Jesus, was praying. Look, he prayed. Woo! Jesus prayed. Now, Jesus prayed. You know, we got to pray too, right? Amen. As he was praying in a certain place. Amen. Praise God. And the word of God says, and when he ceased, when he stopped praying, one of the disciples came and said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. Teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And so in verse 2, the word of God says, and he said unto them, when you pray, say. When you pray, say. We shared a word before, persuki. Amen. And what that means, you're praying the word. You're praying the word of God. So even you pray, he said, when you pray, say, our Father which art in heaven, hallow be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Look, as it is in heaven, there it is, as it is in heaven, it's already settled in heaven, y'all, as it is in heaven, so, amen, in earth, let things that whatever's going on in heaven, thank you, let it be done here in the earth. Father, I thank you. But even in the word, it goes on, it says, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our sins. Amen. For we also forgive everyone. Thank you, Lord God, that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And in verse 5, thank you, Lord God, this is where we're going in the NIV version. The word of God says, then Jesus said unto them, suppose, suppose you have a friend. All of y'all got friends. We got friends. Amen. Suppose you have a friend and you go to him at midnight and say, friend. Lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I have no food to offer him. 
And in verse 7, the word of God says, And suppose the friend, they your Lord God, the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked. And my children and I, we are in bed. We are in bed. Y'all know how it is. Oh, God, with that phone ringing a certain time in the morning. But even here in the Word of God, it says, I can't get up. <laughs> and I can't give you anything. But isn't that kind of funny because they're talking, they're answering, right? But anyway, I'm just saying. But anyway, Word of God. Thank you, Lord God. I tell you the Word of God. I love it. I love it. Amen. In verse uh, 8, the Word of God says, I tell you, even though he will not get up, and give you the bread because of friendship, but yet because of your shameless <laughs> audacity. You know, you got the audacity to even come knock on somebody's door that early in the morning. Amen. He will surely get up and give you as much, praise God, as you need. And even as it goes on in verse 9, it says, So I say unto you, ask. This is what Jesus is saying. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find, knock, and the door shall be open unto you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Amen. In verse 10, it says, For everyone who asks, receive. And the one, thank you, Lord God, who seeks, amen, they uh, find. And the one who knocks, amen, praise God, the door will be open. This is to us right now. In the name of Jesus, understand and thank you. He said, ask. All we have to do is ask. What is it that you ask for it? Amen. If you ask, you're going to receive. This is a promise from God. And we just told you what a promise is. Thank you, Lord God. He said, not only ask, amen, but he said, seek. And if you seek, you're going to find it. If we get into the word of God, look through the word of God. Find out what the word of God say about your circumstance. Find out what it says in the name of Jesus. And if you seek in the, in the word of God and you see it, thank you, you're going to, you will find it. Amen. He says, knock, the door will be open. Praise God. And I still thank God because even in verse 11, it says, which of you fathers, amen, if your son acts, amen, for a fish, will give him a snake instead? That's a question, something to think about. Amen. In verse 12, praise God, the word of God, he asks, amen, he said, or if you ask, amen, for an egg, will you give him a scorpion? He said, if you then, though you are evil, that's the word of God, y'all. The Bible says, if you then, you, you're, in other words, you're evil. We're bad, bad. Because said nobody is good but God. <laughs> nobody good but God, y'all. But still, what he's saying here, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more, how much more will your Father in heaven give, thank you, Lord God, give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Whatever it is that you ask of the Lord, amen, when you come to him because we are his children. Thank you, Lord God. There's no big eyes and little T's or whatever you want to call No, amen, thank you, Lord God. I thank God that there is no respect to person. Not in the eyes of God. We are his children. And when we come to him, we can boldly come before the throne. We already made it clear. Understand that when he said it's finished, that veil has been torn. We can come boldly before the throne of God. Amen. You don't have to get nobody else to come and pray. You don't have to get nobody else to come and do. What we're doing here, and I thank God for what the assignment. Amen. Praise God. The assignment. Thank you, Lord God, what God laid on my heart. Amen. And, and the reason. Thank you, Father. When I look back over the years. Amen. Praise God when I was boo-hoo and crying. I don't know what is happening to me. Just, just, just carrying on. The drama. Oh my God, the drama. And I remember, thank you, Lord God, the Lord said, pray. Pray. Get on your knees and pray. You know, running to everybody, looking to, you know, we pick up the phone, things going on in our life. We, and, and listen, I'm not knocking anybody who picks up a phone and talk to, you know, it's good. You have a prayer partner, you got somebody you can talk to, but hear what I'm saying. Many times before we even bow our knees, we'll, we'll pick up a phone, we'll run here, there, and I still, again, my, my dear friend, Pastor Dr. Wayne Boone, Amen. He said we run the Lottie Dottie and everybody. We go here, there, and everywhere before we turn to God. Turn to God. Amen. Or turn to the Word of God. See what the Word of God has to say. Amen. Because God, His ears are open. Amen. He's attentive. Amen. To the cries of His children. But we don't, we don't turn to Him for it's always, you know, well, you know, this ain't working. Let me try this. We'll try any and everything before we really try God. 
But saints of God, I thank God because even as I stated with me, this is how, thank you, Lord God, this prayer conference line was birthed out of pain. Out of pain. Thank you, Lord God. And this is why still again, even where before when we would have this line, when we started this line, we were taking, what's your prayer petition? What you believe in God? And then what was happening, I was receiving all these petitions from various people, everybody, giving me to pray for this, pray for that, pray, pray, pray for this. And, and the Lord said, teach them my word. Give them my word. Hallelujah. And I bless God. This is why we share the word of God, because faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. When you hear the word of God, thank you, Lord God. And this is why we say that you're encouraged. Be encouraged through the word as you're encouraged through the word of God. And it's pushing you to a place of what? Prayer. Amen. How do we move forward? We move forward on our knees. On our knees. This is how we move. Thank you, Lord God. But still I love in the word of God and everything that God has done and still doing. Thank you, Lord God. But in Luke 10, 19, this is the word of God to all of us. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. I give unto you power to tread, thank you, Lord God, on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And God said in his word, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing by any means. This is the word of God. God is saying, I've given you power. You have power. You have, thank you, Lord God. You've been given power to tread. If you're treading on something, that means you're walking on it. Thank you, Lord God. You're treading on serpents and scorpions. You, you, listen, the enemy is under your feet. He's under your feet. Thank you, Lord God. And he's given us this power. Thank you, Lord God. Listen, we're not commanding God. No. But what we do, we talk to God. But I tell you, in the name of Jesus, we can command spirits. In the name of Jesus. Remember, God is the spirit and they that worship him, we worship him in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord God. is spirit to spirit. Amen. We have to understand that many times when we look at a situation that's taking place, amen, we want to say that it's the person. Amen, Pastor Gary, I have to use you as an example. Amen, to understand, thank you, Lord God, Pastor Gary, you look at, oh, dying, acting up, dying this, dying that. No, it's the spirit. It's the spirit. And I go, well, Pastor Gary, he ain't doing right. He's doing this and he's doing that. No, it's the spirit. Thank you, Lord God. And what we have to do is recognize, identify the spirit what's in operation. We have to have, amen, the spirit, amen, of discernment to know, thank you, Lord God. We want to blame people. We're saying this one did that, but the Bible tells us we're not ignorant, saints of God, of the enemy's devices. You cannot be ignorant in this hour. We cannot, we cannot, we can't afford to be ignorant in this hour. And understand, thank you, Lord God, that the weapons, still again, the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. We're not using weapons, praise God, coming at people. Thank you, Father. Knives and guns. No. Thank you, Lord God. But we come, thank you, Father, with the power of God. We come with the prayers. Thank you, Lord God, praying, binding. Thank you, Lord God, going back to the word of God, amen, that he gave. Amen, where he said, thank you, Father, in the word in Matthew. Amen, thank you, Lord God. He said, thank you, I give unto you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind, whatever you're binding, thank you. He said, I'll bind it, amen. You bind it here on the earth, I'm binding it in heaven. Listen, it's already done. It's already done. It's established in heaven. Thank you, Lord God. And we want it established here in the earth. Thank you, Father. So understand it in the name of Jesus. Whatever God has already spoken through his word, and this is why we get in the word and allow the word of God get in us, God. Let the word be so in us. Thank you. It's bubbling up out, up, up out of us in the name of Jesus. Somebody come to you and they're telling you, you know, somebody, praise God, they don't know God like you know God. They don't know him, but you know God. And you know that God is able. Pray, you pray, thank you, Lord. Don't put it off. 
You can pray right then. You don't have to pray the everlasting prayer, but pray in the name of Jesus. You're praying for that spirit, thank you, Lord God, that, that's wreaking havoc in their life. You're praying in the name of Jesus that that spirit be broken in the name of Jesus. You got power and authority. We read it. Thank you, Lord God. Tread it over surface and scorpions. Decree and declare it the word of God. What God has already declared in the name is established in heaven. Thank you, Lord God. It's already done. Thank you, Father. It's already done. God has given us everything pertaining to life. And God, everything has been given unto us. Everything that you need, you have it. If you have it, thank you, Lord God. And this is why we say again, we walk what? By faith. We walk by faith. We're not walking by sight, what we see with our natural eye. Because too many of us, this is where we, we trip up at. The things that we see, we're, we're caught there. Thank you, Lord God. You can't see the enemy, but you can see the works of the enemy. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we thank you today. We praise you. We glorify you once again, Lord God. Thank you that it is already done. And we thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we agree with heaven in the name of Jesus that your word is it's already settled. It's already settled, Lord God. And we thank you in the name of Jesus that there is no, everything has a limit, Father, except your command, except your word in the name of Jesus. Your word is going to stand, Father, when everything else fails. And this is why, Lord God, we want to be in your word. We want to do your word in the name of Jesus. It's in your word where our strength come from. It's in your word, Lord God, where our help is. It's in your word, thank you, Father, the joy in the name of Jesus. It's in your word. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. We glorify you because you are our refuge. You are, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord God, our fortress. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, a mighty God, mighty in the name of Jesus, and mighty are the works, Father, of your hands, in the name of Jesus, we praise you, we glorify you, Lord God, we thank you still in your word, Lord God, you said, Father, that no evil shall befall us, no plague, Lord God, will come not unto our dwelling, Father, we believe your word, and we're standing on the word of God, and I thank you even now, Lord God, even as you've given us power and authority, Lord God, to rebuke and bind, Lord God, God, the hand of the enemy, in the name of Jesus. But listen, you can't do it if you don't have your armor on. You got to have the armor of God on every single day you get up, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God, the helmet of salvation. Thank you for that breastplate, Lord God, of righteousness. We are made complete in you. We thank you as we take off the shield of faith. Thank you, Lord God, quenching the fiery dots of the enemy. We bless and honor your name, the bell of truth, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, your word, thy word is truth. The word of God in the name of Jesus is always the word of God that holds everything together in your life. We Turn to the word. Thank you, God. We praise and glorify you, Lord God, our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We thank you in the name of Jesus, the sword of the Spirit. The most important, the sword of the Spirit. Thank you, Father. Your word in the name of Jesus is sharper than any two-edged sword. Thank you, Lord God. It's your word. Your word in the name of Jesus. That word that's established already in heaven. We're using the word against the enemy. In the name of Jesus, the enemy cannot stand, thank you, Lord God, against the word. You got to use your weapon in the name of Jesus. There's power. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Power in the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Use your words. Use your words in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. His word. God's word be our words in the name of Jesus. Life and death. Our death and life is in the power. Thank you, Lord God, of our tongue. This is why we watch the words that we speak. What we release out of our mouth. But we speak, Lord God, your word in the name of Jesus. We declare, Lord God, in the name of Jesus this day that we are, Lord God, we are not fighting for victory. We already have it in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you declare? Clear that out of your mouth this morning. I got the victory in the name of Jesus. I got the victory. I got the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not fighting for it. I got it. Thank you, Lord God. I praise and glorify you right now in the name of Jesus this morning. We thank you, Lord God, every prodigal son, every daughter, Lord God, coming home. Thank you in the name of 
Jesus. Thank you because the word has already been put in them. We thank you, Lord God, giving you praise in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We honor you, Lord God, they are taught of you, taught of the Lord, walking in the fear of you, Lord God. We praise you and glorify you, Lord God, again in the name of Jesus. What an army, Lord God, that you're raising up in this season. You're raising them up, Lord God. We're decreeing, declaring, and calling those things that be not as though they were. You got to speak it in the name of Jesus. Not what you see, but what, thank you, Lord God, his word declares. In the name of Jesus, and we speak and agree with the word of God. They are who you say, Father, they are. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God. Thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise and magnify you, Lord God. This day in the name of Jesus, they're strong in you in the power, Father, of your might. We're strong in you in the power, Lord God, of your might. We thank you today in the name of Jesus. You are, Lord God, the shepherd. You're the one that's leading. You're guiding us. We thank you for the spirit, Lord God, the anointing, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that's resting on us, Lord God, of obedience to do, Lord God, in this season, this hour, what you are calling, Lord God, each and every one of us to do. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise and glorify you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Nothing, listen, nothing, I hear this right now, nothing is too great, nothing is too small. Whatever God has given you to do, do it to the glory of God, the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Do it with all your might, thank you, Lord God. Don't despise small beginnings in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, do it to the glory of God. How can he trust you to do something else until you prove faithful with what he has given you? In the name of Jesus, do it, God in your name, thank you. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Do it to the glory of God. Father, we praise you. We glorify your name. We thank you this day, Lord God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, a day that's already blessed, a day, Lord God, because you made it, a day, Father, that we're going to walk out, a day in the name of Jesus, we're walking by faith, by faith, the just shall live, what, by faith, by faith in Jesus' name, we're praying, thank you, Lord God, and doing, Lord God, what you're commanding, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, we praise you for healing, we thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. Chastisement of our peace rests upon you. By your stripes, Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we are healed. We are healed in the name of Jesus. You got to declare it out your mouth. In the name of Jesus, stop speaking what somebody else say. You got to know, thank you, Lord God, who's speaking to you. In the name of Jesus, what voice is it? Thank you, Lord God. You want to have the voice of God in your ear. And what God say that's what stands in the name of Jesus remember it's already settled it's settled already in heaven God I thank you in the name of Jesus we praise you we glorify you right now we thank you Lord God again in the name of Jesus Lord God cover your sons your daughters in the name of Jesus thank you for every mode of transportation we praise you we glorify you right now in the name of Jesus wherever we go Lord God we thank you for ministry angels Father that go before us in your mighty name, making crooked places straight. We thank you, Lord God. We glorify you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. The mighty matchless name of Jesus. Make your atmosphere. Thank you, Lord God, conducive the glory of God. Get praise. Thank you, Lord God. Praise on your lips. In the name of Jesus, glorify him. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember these words. The enemy cannot go beyond, thank you, Lord God, what God has spoken. Whatever God has spoken on your life, whatever God said concerning your life, the enemy cannot go beyond that word. The only way the enemy can go beyond it is when you speak something contrary to what God has spoken. So whatever God spoke over you, that's what you got to decree and declare out of your mouth. In the Jesus, when you speak something that's not lining up with the word of God, you open yourself for these things. Death and life is in the power of your talk. It's already settled things of God in heaven. Thank you, Lord God. Forever, thank you, Lord God. Forever, oh Lord. Your word, thank you, Lord God, is settled. 
is settled in heaven. And we bless you and honor you once again this day. It's by the authority, Father, of your name, the name of Jesus Christ that we render. You got the name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus. It's power in the name, healing in the name, deliverance in the name, joy in the name. Thank you, Lord God. Whatever you need is in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we render every demonic spirit, every evil altar. Thank you, Lord God. Every written curse in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, every generational curse, every time release curse, anything that's being released, thank you, Lord God, against your sons and daughters, Lord God, we plead the blood, we thank you now in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word, we thank you, Lord God, that it's broken, broken in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, and no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper, we thank you this day in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, go in the peace of God. Go in the love of God, but you go knowing it's already settled. Thank you, Lord God, and we agree with heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. It's done. Amen. Praise God. It's already done in heaven. Praise God. We agree with heaven. I bless God for the word of God and coming from the woman of God, the prayer. Amen. I pray that you encourage. Amen. Listen, as you go throughout your day, amen, encourage others. Encourage people around you. Amen. Praise God. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you are way more than conquerors. You all are overcomers. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You got to live on purpose, live with a purpose, and live the purpose-driven life. God bless you. Go in peace. We love you.